Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. And today we're going to take a look at the 50 highest selling 1990s baseball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on March 3rd. And we'll kick today's list off at number 50 with this 1996 Leaf Limited Lumberjacks Black Mark McGuire card number 10. Serial numbered out of 500, this card was ungraded but authenticated by MBA and it sold for $60 even. Up next at number 49 is this 1990 Star Blue Ken Griffey Jr. card number 6. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $60. Coming in at number 48 is this 1996 Leaf Limited Lumberjacks Black Cal Ripken Jr. card number 3. Serial numbered out of 500, this card was ungraded but authenticated by MBA and it sold for $62.40. Up next at number 47 is this 1995 Finest Power Kings Ken Griffey Jr. card number PK10. This was a BGS 9.5 and it sold for $62.40. We're headed to the peak of the junk wax era for the next few cards starting at number 46 with this 1991 Topps Cal Ripken Jr. card number 150. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $62.40. We're sticking to the 1991 Topps baseball set at number 45 with this Nolan Ryan card number one. This was an SGC 10 and it sold for $62.40. Up next at number 44 is this 1990 Upper Deck Mariners Checklist featuring Ken Griffey Jr. card number 24. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $62.40. Coming in at number 43 is this 1993 Bleacher Bums Richmond Braves Prototype Chipper Jones card number SP. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $67.20. Make that back to back newcomers to the list at number 42 with this 1999 Upper Deck Century Legends Epic Mike Schmidt Auto, card number MS. This was a PSA 9 that was given a 10 grade for the auto, and it sold for $72 even. Up next at number 41 is this 1999 Topps All Topps Mystery Finest Ken Griffey Jr. Refractor. This refractor was in a PSA 9 and it also sold for $72. Coming in at number 40 is this 1997 Donruss Elite Inserts Cal Ripken Jr. Card number 9. Serial numbered out of 2500, this was a PSA 10, and it sold for $74.40. The Big Hurt makes his first appearance on today's list at number 39, with this 1996 Leaf Limited Lumberjacks Black Frank Thomas, card number 4. Serial numbered out of 500, this card was ungraded but authenticated by MBA, and it sold for $76.80. 
Up next at number 38 is this 1991 Star Diamond Series Ken Griffey Jr. Card number 62. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $88.80. Make that back-to-back -back appearances for the kid at number 37 with this 1991 Topps Ken Griffey Jr. card number 790. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $93.60. Coming in at number 36. Is this 1993 Topps traded Todd Helton rookie card number 19T? This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $108. Make that back to back newcomers to the list at number 35 with this 1999 SP Signature Pudge Rodriguez Auto card number PG. This auto was in a BGS 9.5 and it sold for $112.80. Up next at number 34 is this 1991 Topps Ken Griffey Jr. All-Star card number 392. This All-Star was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $117.60. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 33 with this 1999 Topps Chrome Lords of the Diamond Ken Griffey Jr. Refractor, card number LD1. This refractor was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $132. Coming in at number 32, is this 1995 Bowman Vladimir Guerrero rookie card number 90. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $132. Make that back-to-back -back newcomers at number 31 with this 1994 SP Alex Rodriguez rookie card number 15. This A-Rod rookie was in a BGS 9, and it also sold for $132. And kicking off the top 30 of today's list is this 1994 Collector's Choice Gold Signature Ken Griffey Jr. Card number 117. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $150. Up next at number 29 is this 1992 Bowman Mariano Rivera rookie, card number 302. This first Bowman was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $156. Coming in at number 28 is this 1994 score traded redemption Alex Rodriguez rookie, Card number HC1. This rookie was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $168. Up next at number 27 is this 1999 Upper Deck Century Legends Epic Ernie Banks Auto. Card number EB. This was a PSA 9 that was given a 10 grade for the auto and it sold for $174. Coming in at number 26 is this 1997 Metal Universe Titanium Ken Griffey Jr. card number three. This was a BGS 9.5 and it sold for $180.
Barry Bonds makes his first appearance on today's list at number 25 with his 1996 Sportflix Artist Proof card number 5. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $186. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 24 with this 1991 Donruss Elite Barry Bonds card number 1. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $186. Up next at number 23 is this 1990 Topps Toys R Us Ken Griffey Jr. card number 13. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $186. We welcome a newcomer to the list at number 22, with this 1995 Bowman Andrew Jones rookie, card number 23. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $204. Coming in at number 21 is this 1997 Skybox EX2000 Credentials Alex Rodriguez, card number 43. Serial numbered out of 299, this A-Rod was in a PSA 8 and it sold for $234. And kicking off the top 20 of today's list is this 1997 Fleer David Ortiz rookie, card number 512. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $252. Up next at number 19 is this 1997 SPX Bound for Glory Supreme Die Cut Alex Rodriguez Auto. Serial number out of 250, this was a BGS 9 that was given a 10 grade for the auto, and it sold for $276. We welcome a newcomer to the list at number 18, with this 1991 Don Russ Elite Ryan Sandberg Auto. This card was authenticated by PSA, given an 8 grade for the auto, and it sold for $288. The Big Hurts back at number 17, with this 1994 Bowman's Best Frank Thomas Red Refractor, card number 55. This refractor was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $300 even. Up next at number 16 is this 1999 SP Signature Harman Killebrew Auto, card number HK. This auto was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $312. Coming in at number 15 is this 1998 Bowman's Best Alex Rodriguez Atomic Refractor, card number 45. Serial numbered out of 100, this refractor was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $360. Up next at number 14 is this 1991 Donruss Elite The Legend Series Nolan Ryan. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $372. Coming in at number 13, is this 1990 Topps Ken Griffey Jr. card number 336. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $372. 
Up next at number 12 is this 1993 Topps Derek Jeter Rookie Auto, card number 98. This was a PSA DNA authenticated auto, and it sold for $420. Coming in at number 11 is this 1991 Upper Deck Michael Jordan Rookie, card number SP1. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $432. And kicking off the top 10 of today's list is this 1992 Upper Deck Heroes Checklist Ted Williams Auto, card number 36. This was a PSA 8 that was given an 8 grade for the auto, and it sold for $630. We get one of our weekly regulars at number 9 with this 1993 SP Derek Jeter Rookie, card number 279. This foil rookie was in a BGS 9, and it sold for $660. Up next at number 8 is this 1990 Don Russ Reverse Negative Juan Gonzalez Rookie, card number 33. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $690. Coming in at number 7 is this 1993 SP Derek Jeter Rookie Auto, card number 279. This card was authenticated by PSA, given a 10 grade for the auto, and it sold for $780. Up next at number 6 is this 1994 Finest Frank Thomas Refractor, card number 203. This refractor was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $870. All right, guys, and before we get to the top five, I did pull aside 10 bonus cards for you today. And we'll start off with this 1990 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. card number 156. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $36. Moving one year ahead, we get Ken Griffey Jr.'s 1991 Upper Deck with card number 555. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $32.40. For our third bonus card, I found this 1991 Topps Bo Jackson card number 600. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $33.60. For a second year card of the big unit, I found this 1990 Leaf Randy Johnson, card number 483. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $31.20. Sticking to the peak of the junk wax era for our fifth bonus card, I found this 1990 Topps Rangers Nolan Ryan, card number 5. This was an SGC 10 and it sold for $25.20. For a Hall of Famer that missed the top 50, up next is this 1991 Topps Aussie Smith card number 130. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $25.20. For another Bo Jackson bonus card, we get this 1991 Upper Deck Bo Jackson, card number 545. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $22.80. Headed back to the 1990 Upper Deck baseball set for our eighth bonus card, I ran across Deion Sanders' rookie with card number 13. This rookie was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $21.60. Up next at 
For an iconic card from the Junk Wax era, we get this 1990 score Bo Jackson with card number 697. This was a PSA 4 and it sold for $13.20. And for our 10th and final bonus card, we get this 1990 Don Russ Larry Walker rookie, card number 578. This was a BGS 9.5, and it sold for $10.80. And kicking off the top five of today's list is this 1991 Topps Desert Shield Ken Griffey Jr., card number 790. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $870. Up next at number 4 is this 1991 Upper Deck Heroes Checklist Nolan Ryan Auto, card number 18. Serial numbered out of 2500, this was a PSA 8 that was given a 10 grade for the auto. And it sold for $1,290. Coming in at number three is this 1998 Bowman's Best Barry Bonds Atomic Refractor, card number three. Serial numbered out of 100, this refractor was in a PSA 9. And it sold for $1,590. Up next at number two is this 1999 Metal Universe Ricky Henderson PMG, card number 122. Serial numbered out of only 50, this PMG was in a PSA 5, and it sold for just short of four grand. And topping off today's list at number one, is this 1998 Skybox EX2000 Essential Credentials Future Frank Thomas, card number eight. Serial numbered out of 93, this was a PSA 10, and it sold for $7,500. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.